All right. I'm going to go on the uh, old uh, horse road, old horse trail that I found a year back. Uh, this is the same time being up here, but I only went a little bit further up to this horse trail, and that was it. Uh, as you can see, yeah, we're all the way up by the end of past Little Mountain. There's Little Mountain way up there. But we're right past, we're right to the edge of the mountains here. All right, let's have a little venture. Let's see how much of the snakes. The sun's almost down, so we gotta hurry. I could climb the very top of this and take some pictures, but let's go watch out for snakes. Uh, it's March right now, about March 20th. I'm going to March 18th. So hopefully the snakes ain't out right by this time. I still got to be careful. I got to be back before night though because uh, the snakes had tendency to come out at night, to hunt at night for rodents and mice and all that other stuff. So. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Yep. I got my keys here. Key systems. There's uh, Lone Mountain. Yeah, Las Vegas, Nevada, but here is the nature part. Here's the desert part. We get up out of the mountain, out of the city into the wilderness. Okay. Alright, this is this is old horse trail for horses. I'll probably bicycle or so. All right, I'm going to ride a little further up and... and tape some more, but... All right. This is where the bicycle, this is where the horse trail begins. Yeah, I was trying to get up here earlier today. I left around 4 o'clock. Got up here around 5. You still gotta be careful because you still have bobcats and other stuff up here. So. Pretty sandy. It looks like a wash up, to be honest with you. Um, if this is a wash up, uh, flash floods can't come through here. You know, it doesn't look like flash floods can come through here. You can tell between this, see the like the walls here. You see, yeah, like it's, you know, it drops down, drops off like a small cliff here. Um, my guess is that this actually might be a wash up, but also uses a horse bicycle trail, horse trail. Um, if I'm right, it might also be a wash up where, uh, where streams come through. <sighs> Need to see one, but you don't want to be trapped in one. Yeah, it is. You can see it's like a small island through here. Alright, we're sure. Alright, we're sure out. This is neat. Man. Whew. 
Man. Whew. Yep. Survival man. No. <laughs> Surviving wild or something. Or wild survival. Survival. Yeah, we got the plants up here. This is where we really had the nature up here. The desert nature, nature is up here. Um, you got the flowers and all our stuff. Some of the stuff is edible, but you gotta really know what to look for. Um, continue upwards. Oh, we got someone out here. I guess I'm not the only one hiking. I'm not gonna take the guy respectfully. I'm not. That's not right to do. But okay, man, look at this. Man, try to climb this. Climb this stuff, but I don't have the time an hour to do it. It's gonna be dark soon. I love you staying here trying to set camp. So. Up here, you know, keep recording. Okay. Yep, this is neat. Got some rock erosion. Amanda, I would send you a souvenir, but if I see anything like a rock with a pressure on shell or see anything, I'll, I'll get it, send it to you. See, this is why I wish you were out here. You could come out and hiking. Look at this. God, it's beautiful out here. Las Vegas. It's like an opening between the mountains here, mountain range. So. Yeah, oh yeah, look at this. Yep. Uh, somebody spray painted. Shouldn't be doing that. That's a, that's a whole cave. Might be a mining cave though too. Look at this. Yeah, it splits up in two ways. It's definitely an old wash up. Or flow waters come in. I mean, it looks like these as a trail too, but I'm sure when it rains really bad. For down state or whatever. Water comes down here. It can be a nice day like this and get a, a good old flash flood coming through here. I'm sure it's rare here. But yeah, we got people camping. Man, man, I wish you were here. You see, I watch out for rattlesnakes. Uh, so I was camping up here. Send you a rock from Nevada <laughs> if you want, hon. Uh, it's a cool souvenir. If I see any cool rocks, I'll maybe I'll send you some. They're good with minerals, though. Oh, okay. oh shit. and then they got caves in here. <sighs> Take a picture, hon. Yeah, you gotta be careful. There's no place to play. It's for. You know, not for partying or anything. Got meat rock formations. And you would, honey, man, you would enjoy this. You just gotta be careful because rocks can fall on you. There's no place to play at all. 
it looks like one time the rock formation it looks like someone tried to mine some mine out here back back in the 1800s cowboy days or something or one time a long time ago looks like now a couple of kids are piking camping here partying or whatever maybe having sex in here you know those teenagers you know i'm gonna tell you what the teenagers do down here I mean, it's good for seeing like for a tourist or something. Not terrorist, a tourist. It's a big, no. but yeah. Okay, we gotta be careful. I almost slipped here. We gotta be careful. Loose rocks. Ugh. Okay, keep going. And that's your cave. Okay. Here we go. Let's go up here a little bit and then uh, I gotta be heading back because it's gonna be getting dark. It's gonna be getting dark pretty soon. guys right now it's only 60 58 degrees 60 degrees it's nice nice cool breeze not hot at all <sighs> during the summertime you do not want to come up here unless you can actually got you can unless you actually got a lot of water and protection sunblock and protection from the sun and all that make sure to come up here with a couple with a couple lunches up here make a lunch box or whatever okay here's the thing I'm gonna head up here Go through here and then and I gotta hit back. Much as I like to keep exploring, I'm running out of daylight and get, get back pretty soon. So got some cool caves, but I will climb this. So uh, uh, I just won't play if a flood doesn't come through here. Or small even a small one. Gotta also watch out for snakes, rattlesnakes, especially the little ones, the baby ones, because you can't see them because they're Blended in. Are they in out this time of year? I don't know. Just shows you gotta be careful. Okay. I will be back. I'm gonna have to be really careful. Looks like I'm not the only one that came up here. See if I can climb that rock, climb those mountains right there. Yeah, good yeah, we gotta get out. I gotta help get out of here. I don't want to try down here at night. So. This right here is rattlesnake heaven, so you gotta be careful. You get bitten, you only got about an hour to live. And then even before then, you gotta go through the, the cardiac arrest, tissue being eaten by the poison, all things going wrong. Organ failure, stuff and stuff. So you see on television, it's all real, guys. Ain't fake. Not to be taken lightly. It looks like construction workers are up here. It looks like they're actually moving this place out. They're probably gonna find their uh, neighborhood or town, city down here, part of the city down here. You got houses up here. All right, here you up. Shit. Up here, do, do not do this. This is where else, this is definitely where else to hang out. This is, this is, you know, home to them. Especially now how cool it's getting. You see one? Jump away from it. Don't wait. You know, it's not going to strike a body a body movement or a body heat. It strikes a body heat, but sometimes this strikes just be striking. If you know you're alive, it will strike you. 
Even if you're standing still like a statue, and it'll still strike you. So your better chances are to jump away quick and fast, like lightning. No joke. Alright, you know what? Probably gonna stop here. Much as I like to climb to the top of this. Um, there's a lot of route, prior route things coming out. So in this area, this is right here, this is perfect, perfect area for rattlesnakes and other critters. But Alright, bro, I start heading down now. But yeah, it looks like they're going. Ah! Ooh, ooh, ah! So they're going to be adding up more of the area of Las Vegas. It's constantly building and building and building. So. Is there gold out here? I'm sure there is. There's someone back there. <laughs> yeah, I got, that's the guy. Actually, the guy was back here. You can see him barely, but he's way up there. Well, I guess he's moving around, coming up here. You can see there's trails up here. They lead all the way up through here. Yeah, he's somewhere up there, right there. Right there. Down, down. And don't do what Bear Grill does. Don't just, just go straight down because, uh, believe it or not, you, you go fast, you're going to make mistakes. You're going to get hurt. Survival Man! Well, I eat a bit away, just to keep, it, keep it steady, it's calm.
looking at some cool rock formations. Just got a cave up there. We got tons of caves around here. Las Vegas, man. Mark, I wish you were up here, man. Emily, Michelle, everybody. We got to go camping. We have to. This, uh, this May, we're going camping. There's a campsite up at Mount Charleston. Not desert camping, Rocky Mountain camping. This is the closest to it, so up in Mount Charleston. So it's a, there's two campsites. It's public. It's right by the, it's right on the main road. Dirt road, so I do some desert camping too, though. But yeah, I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be here forever. We're actually going back. Hopefully, the plan is in 2014. I'm heading back to uh, Water Wild. Moving back to Water Meat in Des Moines and uh, somewhere out there. And then someday, I back out to Colorado Rockies uh, somewhere. I can get past the way. I just hope I get the kind of wife that wants to do that kind of stuff, though. Okay. Las Vegas. Lone Mountain. But also, uh, shit. Also wants to go out to, uh, um, Bonnie Springs. So, they are close, but we want to do it, man. We have been out here for 13 years. We ain't doing anything like that. Now, if we've been out in Colorado Springs, still we. We've been. Been doing all that, so been doing all that kind of stuff. So, if we're stuck, power swings, I guarantee it. We were done though. We did all kinds of stuff. Done all, that, done all that stuff there. All kinds of stuff. Going. So we need.
so we need to get so we need to get uh, yeah and do all I do get yeah, and do all the kind of stuff here. All this, all, all this stuff. I get a couple of dirt bikes, mountain bikes, motorcycles, ATVs, whatever. Come out here. Pretty rocky down here. So. It's a good way of getting away from Las Vegas, even just for a little bit, you know. <sighs> yeah, it's a good way of getting out of Las Vegas for a bit, getting away from Las Vegas for a bit, only if it's just for a little bit. But it's good. Just getting away. You've seen the nature side of Nevada, or the nature side of the, the, the desert. It's not all cooked up to be hot and dry. It's also wet seasons. All right. It's raining and floody out right here. There's just a lot of it happens on the dry washups like this. You see, I'm sure a lot of that flood water comes out here, comes down here, and drains in here. Which probably goes back and goes to Lake Mead, which is the city's water supply. And I got pebbles on my shoes. All right, here we go. Grand finale, the big finish. Las Vegas. I apologize if it's a little bumpy. Yeah, I apologize if it's a little bit bumpy. Oh boy, hang on. Home, <laughs> which is all the way on uh, 
uh, rainbow. <laughs> See, the bus comes up this way, but there's buses that go down this way. There's no bus stops down this way. Well, yeah, coming up there is, but on uh, coming down, there's no bus stops, so the bus don't come this way. Yeah, I'm holding this camera. I gotta be careful not to drop it. Dropped it once and by the cave. I need to get an electric motor hub for my bicycle. I need to get an electric motor hub. I gotta get one for this bicycle. Or get, make one. we had to go up to. Alright, all the way back down home, which is all the way, way down there, past the lights where the cars are, way past that.